It's a call first responders get too often. Help! But it's a scene few people outside of their profession ever see. Having the opportunity to, uh, of course, cut up a car and, and extract people, you cannot be too proficient at that. I mean, you, training is paramount. Medical residents from the University of Nebraska Medical Center got to see what happens before they get a patient. Understanding better what our EMS colleagues go through and, and do before they get them to us is, I think, important for everyone to kind of work as a team and respect each other's roles. As they would in a regular hospital setting, the residents took over when the ambulance arrived with the victims. My name is Dr. Nelson. There's going to be a lot of people talking to you, okay? Inside the simulation in motion truck, residents identify the victim's problems. He has some blood coming from his mouth. Is it hard for you to breathe? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, on three, one, two, three. These are injuries they see every day in the ER. So being able to do it in an environment that's controlled and kind of get an idea of how to best go, go about things is better for when real time it comes and you have a better uh, understanding and a kind of a better idea of how to, how to proceed with things. And now they have a better understanding of what they can do in trauma situations when resources are tight. Stephanie Nolte, 3 News Now.